Review for Final Exam, MAT 0018. First question, write in exponential notation. So this means to put these back together with exponents. So we'll look for our separate bases. Our first base is a 2. So we have 2 for the base. And your exponent is the number of copies. We have 3 copies of that base. And then we have times. Our next base is a 5. We have 2 copies. That will be the exponent. The variables work exactly the same. The x is the next base. And we have 2 copies. It doesn't matter if you put the times between the x and the 5 or not. You can, but you don't have to. Right? And last we have just a y. And that is in exponential form. When they say the word exponential form, or exponential notation, they don't want you to work it out. They want you to write it back with the exponents. Problem two, they would like us to write in expanded notation, which means we're going to write out the factors. So just the reverse of question one, we already have exponential notation. So two to the fourth is going to be four copies of the two x cubed will be 3 copies of the x, and y cubed will be 3 copies of the y, and that is expanded notation. Problem 3, evaluate 3 times 4 squared. This is an order of operations question. Uh, exponents will come before multiplication, so you need to work out the 4 squared. You can do it on this side somewhere. It means 4 times 4, which is 16. You still have the 3. And now do 3 times 16 gives you 48. Number 4 is also an order of operations question. And we will start in the parentheses first. That's our level 1. So we're going to work on the inside. 2 plus 5 will give us 7. Check around your parentheses. There's no exponent, so we're OK there. We have times in front, so we'll need to keep that, but we can take the parentheses off. Bring everything else down. Now, there's no exponents. That would be level 2. Level 3 is multiplication or division left to right. So you actually have to do this division first, because it comes first. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then we can go ahead and bring down the times 7. We can continue with that, because that's the same level. 2 times 7 will give us 14. And minus 4 will give us 10. Question 5 is an evaluate problem. We're going to substitute the 4 into the x and the 2 into the y and then simplify using order of operations. So we have to keep everything else that's there. Keep your parentheses. The 2 gets multiplied by the x. Since we already have a parentheses, we might use a dot there. And our x value is 4. Then we have plus 3 and 3 gets multiplied by the y. The y value is 2. Keep your parentheses. And your exponent is on the outside of the parentheses. Now we just go with order of operations. So we're inside the parentheses first. You have to do your multiplications before your addition. So we're going to do 2 times 4 is 8. Um, this is not going to take the parentheses off. 3 times 2 is 6. You are still in parentheses. Keep your exponent. We will finish inside. So we have 8 plus 6 gives us 14. You still have the parentheses because there is an exponent. So we want 14 squared means 14 times 14. Where is our 16? That's 5. So 4, 1, 1, so 1, 196. Problem 6, we have four things to evaluate. 
The first one is negative absolute value of 2. When you have the straight lines, that's absolute value. It's asking you how far is the 2 away from 0. It will be two spaces, and you can just bring your sign down. So it will give you a negative 2. That's part A. Part B. This is the absolute, and then you're going to take the opposite of it. You would always do your absolute first without touching the outside. That's asking how far is negative 2 away from 0. It is two spaces. You still have this sign on the outside to give us negative 2. Part C. This one is parentheses. It is not absolute. And parentheses just holds the number in there. So the negative on the outside says take the opposite of whatever's inside. So opposite of a positive 2 just gives us negative 2. And it cleans up and takes the parentheses off. And part D, opposite of a negative 2. Again, we have parentheses. Parentheses has no meaning. It's just holding the sign in there. So this is a negative 2. Opposite of a negative 2 gives you a positive 2.